Do you recognize this picture? How about this one? Both of these paintings are from the painter Vincent van Gogh. And if you know anything about a Vincent van Gogh or you want to know more about Vincent van Gogh, you will know that he was kind of a tortured soul. And I thought I knew a lot about him, but I was really surprised by what I didn't know when I read Vincent and Theo. So Vincent and Theo is a biography about the Vincent and his brother, Theo. And Theo is kind of a person that no one knew very much about. And in fact, some of the, if you look back here, some of the uh, paintings that they thought were Vincent were really his brother. And Vincent and his brother were kind of yin and yang in that they were almost complete opposites. Vincent was messy. Theo was uh, very neat. Um, Vincent had a temper. Theo did not. Um, Vincent had to create art. Theo curated art, meaning he collected it. Um, and Theo basically um, helped pay for Vincent when he was broke. So whenever Vincent was broke, Theo would bail him out. Um, but Theo was very sick. Um, he was a very unhealthy person. He died early. And so the biography is a very interesting book, and it talks about their relationship and how they really took care of one another. And um, I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot about Vincent van Gogh that I didn't already know. And I learned about someone that most of us don't know anything about. So the book is called Vincent and Theo, the Van Gogh Brothers. I already began my summer reading. And one of the books I started with was the book Unidentified Suburban Object by Mike Young. Um, I don't know if I feel like the cover does the book justice because I probably would not have picked up this book if the CCBC hadn't recommended it so highly. Um, so the book is about a, a young Korean American named Chloe Cho. And Chloe Cho lives in a suburban community that is mainly Caucasian and she's the only Korean in the community. Um, and she's really struggling to identify herself as Korean and what does that mean to be Korean. But her parents uh, mysteriously are evasive. They don't tell her a lot about her Korean ancestry. And she gets a Korean teacher and the teacher has asked all the kids to write a story, a family story, so to interview someone from their family and write the story. And uh, Chloe's parents procrastinate, procrastinate. She finally gets them to tell her a story of their family. And when she gets her project back, she's gotten an F. This child has never gotten an F, B minus maybe, but she is um, pretty academic. So she freaks out. And then the teacher asks to speak to her after school. And she finds out that the story that her father told her was plagiarized from another book. And so the teacher thinks that Chloe's plagiarizing, and that's why she gets an F. So Chloe confronts her parents and they're like, what's up? What gives? And that's when we find out uh, what Chloe really is. She is not Korean and I am not going to tell you what she is, but I definitely recommend you read the book because Chloe definitely feels like a fish out of water, like a fish that doesn't belong. So the book is called Unidentified Suburban Object.